Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome to Material Energy Cubed with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant and yourself a great day as always. This is a brand new pack we're going to be playing. It looks kind of fun. It was a jam-packed pack. If you know what jam-packed was, it was basically a competition to make the best 164 pack you can uh, using HQM and things like that. And this has made its way onto the FDB launcher and had some pretty big updates along the way. So I thought, you know, if it's good enough to get onto the launcher, maybe it's good enough to play. So we're going to have a little go. So let's have a looky-see what we got here. This is the starting area. It looks kind of cool. Uh, the big idea of this pack seems to be the use of spatial storage from applied energistics. If you don't know what that is, that is a... Basically, you make these guys and then you can save a large area inside a disc, a storage disc, and then you can load it back up. So you can store like a whole chunk of a world inside a disc and load it back up. Water, trees, pigs, everything. It's pretty cool. So let's have a look inside our book and see what we have. So, connected to frequency HQ, begin transmission. Long-range scanners have detected an explosion in the second level of Station Alpha. Power generation is offline, but the elevator shaft is still functional. One life sign reported. If you are receiving this message, you must... You must... <laughs> bring full power online in order to power the teleporter for extraction. No help is being sent. You are by yourself. Boop. End of transmission. <laughs> there we go. So that's basically the idea behind it. We're in a broken down kind of station. We need to sort things out and we need to get it working again. And I'm guessing we're going to do that by the use of quests. Seems pretty cool, right? So we've got this one here. Open me. And we've got a read me. Ew. Welcome to Material Energy Cube. If this is your first time in a spatial energy adventure, please refer to this guide for details. If in any case you lose this book, simply curl up on the floor and focus on breathing until you feel safe again. Venath rules. None. You're a rebel. Why limit yourself to silly little rules? Be adventurous and break all the blocks. Explore where you shouldn't, and most of all, find all those secrets. Ooh, how to use this quest book. Open the book with a right click and start. Okay, right, we already know all that stuff. We've played many things that involve HQM. So let's have a looky see what we've got here. So we've got three open tabs, I think, three. Yeah, we've got Left Alone, Pay to Win, and Victory Monument. So this does have a Victory Monument side of it, so obviously if we don't know what that is, it's you just have to collect a load of random things and put them on a Victory Monument. That's pretty much it. But I think this has a lot. So we've got things like Alkali Metals, so we have to find all the Alkali Metals. Uh, we have Noble Gases, we have the Materials, so things like Thermal Expansion Metals, things like Vanilla Metals, and Compression, and... Generator, one of every generator. Wow, that's pretty cool. Loads of trophies from open blocks. Uh, loads of different drums filled with different liquids. It's pretty funky. But I think the main thing we should go down is left alone, because that's probably going to explain the story a little bit for us. So, yesterday, when everyone was alive and well, our researcher accidentally left a blacklisted block in the... In the spittle? <laughs> Spatial area, I'm guessing. They chose me to go in and get it. Alright, so base tour, repeatable quest. Maybe I should look around the base to see what is still functioning and what needs to be rebuilt. Reward? A cookie. Yummy. I spent most of my time here cleaning the equipment. Character building, that's what they call it. So we have to go to all these places. So we have to go to the elevator, the observatory, the chemistry set, and the machine area. Well, I'm guessing this is the elevator, which looks good, yes. Level 1 observatory. Over this side is probably going to be something. What have we got in here? Oh, I like this 3D rendering. That is cool. Uh, we've got some chemistry goodies in here. So I guess this was the chemistry set. And then the machine area looks like it's right over this side. Uh, you know, I'm just really happy. I'm going to get a cookie out of this. <laughs> I love cookies. So this should do this one. Oof, there we go. Oh, we've got second floor to do. So we have to go to... Uh, they never showed me the second floor, even though I was supposed to be learning everything here. It was all hush-hush, and I didn't want to cause any friction between me and the other researchers. Alright, so we have to go down. So let's go down. Now, there is another thing in here. There are secrets. Many secrets. <laughs> now, before I started playing this map, I did a little looky-see. Because I like to quickly play a map for like 10-15 minutes just to make sure that it's actually going to be good before I start recording. I don't really want to waste my time, you know, I've got, good, I've got better things to be doing. And I, I had a look around and I think I found quite a few secrets on this floor. We'll go around and do them like near the end of the episode, but see if I got all of them. I don't know if I got all of them, there could be more, there probably is more, but I, 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 I think I did a fair good job of trying to scan all that. Let's have a look, so this is a... Oh. I, I can't jump to look, but it doesn't look nice. 
Oof. Oh, so this is the third floor. This is nice. Check this place out. Level 3 Victory Monument. Ah, so this is where we place all the stuff that we need for the Victory Monument. And I'm guessing there's a fair few. It definitely looks that way. So I guess these are all sectioned out to different pieces. So we have gold, lapis diamond. So I guess these are vanilla metals. Uh, we have the metallurgy metals. Drums. Things like that. I haven't actually looked on this floor for secrets yet, so uh, I they could, oh, well, there's obviously one there, isn't there, you can see it right there. They're all done inside carpenter's chests, or the safe deposit boxes, so you have to kind of look out for those, or look for, look for blocks that don't look like they belong there, because a lot of this is made with chisel, and chisel, when used with the safety deposit boxes, they don't actually become a multi-block structure like this, they won't match, so that's how you kind of figure out. And I'm guessing this is... A hole. <laughs> this looks like a periodic table of elements. So we have got mine cam, and uh, weirdly enough, mine cam is something I've never played with. So I, yeah, it's one of the big reasons I wanted to do this pack because I really wanted to get involved with mine cam, try and learn that. So that's definitely going to be fun. Let's have a little look and see inside here. So we get. Oh, we've got a trophy and a basic reward bag. Nice. All right. So where do we actually place trophies? I'm guessing they're along here somewhere. What's this? Pink generator. Silver, brass. Um, biogas, wolf chick. Aha, here we go. Pig, wolf, snowman, squid, cave spider. This is just a regular spider, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, wolf. Nice. <laughs> cool. Let's open up our reward bag as well. See what we get. I got myself a time machine version two, infinity one. <laughs> That's really cool. Nice. All right, we'll take that. Cool beans. So that, do that. Is that I meant to go? Yeah, storage. So this is, I'm guessing, the storage room, which is around here. Let's see what we've got in these chests. Ooh. Many things. Solar generators, energy cells, a sugarcane farm inside a spatial storage. This would be kind of cool. So I guess we've, uh, we can load that up in here. But let's keep going. Before we do anything else, I want to try and, you know, check everything out before we do anything else. So there's that one. Third floor. So uh, why can't I remember where everything is? It was just yesterday that I had a tour of this place. Ah, so I've already visited. Ah, okay, right. So we've already done most of this. Although there is an armory, which is 57 meters away. Okay. Got Ooh. Ooh. A cookie jar. Has this got... Oh, it hasn't got cookies in it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Um, well, I guess I'll take that. And uh, Melvin, we've got Melvin, which is good. Oh, there's some cool stuff in there. Look at all this. Nice. So this is the building area. Huh. I guess I can make a funky base down here with cookies. Very nice. Okay, so there's that place. We've still got an armory to go to, which I guess is around here somewhere. Um, there's this hole down here, isn't there? Let's go have a look over here, see if it's down this way. Am I close? I'm 13 meters away, so I'm very close. So it looks like it's down here. Yes, broke my leg. Uh, yeah, this is it. Okay, right. So I guess we can make loads of different types of armor and things around it, which is kind of cool. So that is that. And we got another one, fourth floor. Building area. Oh, we've already been to the building area. Let's quickly go there and get this one. There's a secret there. Is that a secret? White glass. Oh, no, they're underneath all of them. I thought, that was <laughs> I thought that was a secret then. I'm keeping my eyes out for all these little secrets, trying to find these areas that could have some uh, some free loot. And some of them are really hard to find. But, uh, yeah, I know, I think we'll do it eventually. I think we've got a good chance at trying to find all of these secrets, if we're good enough. You just have to kind of use Whaler, a little tooltip at the top, to try and see if you can find all of these funky secrets. All right, so let's quickly go to this other area. And then we'll see what other quests it has for us. And we'll go and see if we can get most of the secrets on the first floor. So this is the building area. Let's have a look. Have we done building area now? Ha ha. One cookie. Very nice. All right. So there's that one. Let's go up and see what is next. So backup power. So getting a small kit. So getting a small bit of power online is the first priority. Not much can be done without power. I seem to remember a backup solar generator laying around somewhere. I should check the chest on third floor and bring the generator up to the observatory so we'll have access to sunlight through glass. 
Okay, well, we know where this is because we found this in here, didn't we? This is the, where the solar generator was. So, there we go. So, there's the solar generator. So, manual detection. Many gizmos. Thank you very much, Leo. Cool beans. We don't really need to read this because I know how spatial energy works. So, we will do that as it goes. So, there's that one. And then there's getting food. So... With a little bit of power, food should be no problem. I need to use the spatial storage on the third floor where we keep all the farms for supplies. I won't have access to most of the farms since the discs are stored on the second floor. The sugarcane farm should be still loaded into the spatial IO port, though I'll have to use it use with what I have for now. Okay, so it looks like this is the uh, this is going to be the sugarcane farm, and I wonder if there's any power in here. Let's pop it in. Have a look. We got any power? Aha! There we go! Look! One sugarcane farm! How cool is that? We could use this to get sugar, I guess. Nice! So, I guess we'll just leave this one out, because we're gonna need food, aren't we? So, if we just leave this out for the time being until we find anything else, but the magic with spatial storage is that we could put this whole area back inside that little this little sugarcane farm spatial storage cell and put it back in the chest so we could use it later how funky is that cool beans i don't really want to live off sugar for the rest of my life <laughs> Aha. all right so what we got so we get a reward bag a decomposer guide oh, and a bed. so i don't you know what decomposing is that'd be kind of cool we got 10 lever as well let's have a look at this De chemical decomposer. Thank you for your purchase. Install. All you need for your new hardcore is power or hardware. Hardware? Hard air. <laughs> well, I failed, he failed. It is power. RFMJEU. Use. Place object in the top and watch as they get decomposed into all their elements. Warning. Do not touch any moving parts. Avoid putting small animals into chemical decomposer. Keep away from children. Ah, so. We put the things in there, and then if we have a spare child, we place the child in there as well. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I guess we need to give this some power, though. So let's get my solar generator. Oh, let's put it in the light, I guess. Here will do. Yes. And over here was the mine chem stuff. So I guess a chemical decomposer. Cool, cool. Let's pop this guy... Here. And I guess that's pretty much that. Although we do need you, don't we? And a daylight sensor. So, the way these generators work is kind of weird because solar generators won't actually be putting out any power at the minute. So you'll see that there's, uh, there's s stored energy in there at the minute, but it's sending the energy out. Or it's uh, bringing the energy in, which is kind of cool. And uh, what this is going to do... Is I believe that when we switch that, it holds it, and then uh, time remaining until transmission starts is uh, so many seconds. That will start transferring the uh, energy. So transmitting, deactivate redstone signal to resume charging. See, which is kind of cool. I like that. And then I think we can put this stuff in here. And oh wow, <laughs> oh that is so cool. Look at it go. We got sucrose, hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. Creates explosion if hit entity is on fire. Gives air when mining underwater. Huh. Well, that's really cool, isn't it? Nice. So... I have no idea what to do with these. <laughs> Can I just... Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oxygen. Can't do anything with that. Sucrose? Ah! Aha! So we can drink sucrose to get speed. And we get food from it. Nice! That's kind of cool, isn't it? I guess I'll just, I'll just put my cookie jars on top of there. <laughs> is that still making power? It is still making power. That's fine. The cookie jar doesn't matter. The cookies are a lie. <laughs> Well, there we go. So let's see if we can do anything else. So this gives us 
this stuff. So we've already done that, haven't we? And then we've got general chemistry. So I guess we've just undone, it's done that one. So that is sucrose. A detection task. So with the sugar cane and the power from the solar generator, I should be able to use the chemical decomposer in the observatory to break down the plant into sucrose. Unfortunately, sucrose is a simple sugar providing little energy. I'll need to find a way to make better food soon. Ah, so getting sucrose from sugar cane is only a 65% chance. Maybe if I craft it into pure sugar, I'll have a higher percentage. Ah, I see. All right. So if we turn this into sugar, that should be like a guaranteed sucrose, right? Almost. Yeah, that's kind of... Hold on, let me ch test this out. So if we get 16... And put them in there. Oh, we lost one. So it's a pretty much on-the-spot chance. That's all right, I guess. And this gives us a inclusion chamber, rewards, and a brass chest. Oh, can I... Can I claim it? <laughs> can I... Please? Oh, we got to pick one. All right, we'll take the reward bag. Because there's chests everywhere. And I got 10 coal. Nice. Cool. So, an inclusion chamber stores up to 128 by 128. Which I'm guessing is the size of this room. Possibly. This could be our first big area to go and explore. It's kind of fun, right? Let's have a look in here, see what it says. So, inclusion chamber. Bigger spatial cells can be used in the spatial IO port in the middle of the observatory. The controls are located by the upper right quart pillar with a button to switch drives while turning on the power for only a brief moment to switch the areas. The inclusion chamber contains many resources that I can use to repair the station. There shouldn't be any disturbances in the chamber. Ah, so we shouldn't have any any bad guys in there. Although we do get some shovels, which are kind of nice. <laughs> we get uh, black steel, cylindro, and some armored line. Wow, this reminds me of playing Blood and Bones. So I guess we can load this into here and then go, whee! Oh. Oh, this is so cool. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Hold on. Did that do the... Did that do it? Oh, I just need to go into here and then it will do it. Is this, is this one called Dirty Container? <laughs> that is such a good... <laughs> oh, man. There is bad guys in it. All right. So it's not a nice place to be hanging out. And this place is huge as well. Have a look. Dirt container. I guess we're kind of getting close to it. Let's keep looking for... Uh... <laughs> well, 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 the hidden chest. Yes, I knew you'd be somewhere. That is a leadstone energy cell that's full. Some dispensers. Some coins. A music disc. Yes. Some ropes and things. And a reward bag. I have ender skeleton splash. Whoa. That was a chest and a half. I'm even going to take that chest. Oh, yes. You know one thing we haven't got? Tools. That's one thing we were kind of lacking is tools. Although we got a reward bag, which gave me oh, look, some gold dust. Nice. All right. Let's keep moving forward. Although I can hear spiders. Did this do it? Aha. All right. So I get leather pants. I get armor dry and slender and black steel. So let's quickly... Uh, Armoured line is, um, uh, that's not it. Armoured line? How do we spell armoured line? Am, ow, amordrine. Amordrine. So amordrine doesn't tell me if it's any good or not. <laughs> it's got a four attack base, so I guess that's kind of one thing. So that's four attack base, and then the, uh, Cylindral is four as well. I don't think there's any good way of doing this. Black steel is three. You know, what? we're going to go with Cylindral because I really like the look of that stuff and I think it's good. There we go. Cool beans. And you know, we got loads of sucrose and things to eat now as well, which is nice. And it gives us speed, which is funky we just need to get a disc player now i'm pretty sure there's a disc player in one of the chests around the area somewhere so that's gonna jesus christ look at that guy it's a speedy spider where did he come from he came from like up there somewhere. that's not fair that's cheating <laughs> a stone turret huh i wonder if these come with anything in it that's oh oh look at that 
Look at that guy! That is so cool! A bound soul. A wooden sword. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at that! So are these guys going to help me? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Crafting golem. Oh my lord, he's got a little face and everything. He looks very British with a beard. <laughs> I am a crafting workbench. Oh, what guy? Well, 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 there we go. Huh. I like. I'm going to take that, though. Oh, man, we've already got so much rubbish. And that music is ridiculously loud. There we go. So, I think, guys... Oh, there's some stuff in here as well. Oh, pickaxes and ladders. Nice! Oh man, this is going to be fun. Let's have a look, see what the next quest is as well. So, finding Sea Biscuit. <laughs> sea Biscuit really likes to chill in the little grass pasture in the inclusion chamber. I should go visit her. It was nice to finally see an animal after spending two years training in space. She was both resilient and calming. I'm guessing Sea Biscuit is a horse. I'm guessing. We'll have, to, we'll have to see, won't we? We've also got digging for saplings, so there should be a number of saplings buried within this compost pile, along with bone meal, if I'm lucky. That gives us wood and a furnace generator, which is great, because we've now got charcoal and things. Excellent. I guess I'm going to leave these guys down here, because uh, I'm not actually going to be digging just yet. So before we finish up today's episode, I said we would go do some looting, which we're going to very much do before we finish the episode. And I think I know where, like, a good amount of them are. Now, some of these things don't give you, uh, like, kind of... <laughs> I want to say not good rewards, but, you know, they're kind of fun, so... Yeah. So, this is the first one I found up here, which is this one, which gives us an entropy except Actually, you know what? Let, before we do this, let's throw a load of stuff in here. So, we'll just put everything we don't need in here, and I will sort this out very soon. There we go. That'll do. Alright, so let's check this stuff out. So in here, we have a reward bag, which gives us <laughs> a reward bag. <laughs> Some shiny ingots. Alright, we're getting somewhere. And we've got an entropy accelerator, a trophy, and a pillar quartz block. Nice. Another one I found was around here somewhere. Aha, there we go. So we've got a ga gas trophy and some mini me's. So you'll find a lot of these have mini me's of uh, like the mod creators and uh, bits like that, which is kind of cool, you know. That's kind of fun, isn't it? It doesn't really do much, but uh, yeah. I think another one I found was around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Gives me some, oh look, some, uh, some kits. So we've got a pickaxe kit and a shovel kit, so I can use this to get me a survivalist pickaxe. It's kind of cool, right? And we've got a silverfish trophy. There was another one around here, which is a wild mini-me. And I think I found one around here. Squid. <laughs> cool. And there was one I found around here when I was looking around, but I, it didn't actually have anything in it. I, I, it looked a bit too obvious. Yeah, see? There's nothing in there. Now, I know there are more around it, but I can't actually remember where they are. <laughs> I think there's some, like, still on here. I basically just spent ages just going like this around the place trying to find it. I think there's one up here, because when I was looking around, I found something that kept kind of flashing up, but I couldn't get into it. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, 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 maybe not. Maybe it's here? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. All right. Let's quickly have a looky-see over here. There's nothing there. What about here? I love this idea of finding loot around the place in hidden areas. It is so cool! Oh, I remember there was another one over here as well. Let's go for a look. Uh, there's one, like, here. Yes. Although I need to do this. <laughs> Pig trophy! Nice. And is that it? Those are all the ones I've found so far, I think. I, there probably is a couple more, but I can't remember where they were. Uh, 
but most of the rooms have these secrets, these hidden little trophy areas, and some of them have reward bags. I want the reward bags. I'm not really too fussed about finding the mini-me's. If you know what a mini-me is, it's just a little person. So if we wanted little pixel picks, we can place it down like that, and there we have a little pixel picks. And uh, when we get tired of pixel picks running around, we can put him back inside the golden lasso. But we just got ourselves three golden lassos, which is pretty cool nonetheless. So even if uh, even if we don't use the mini for anything, we can use the golden lassos for other things. I'm guessing. I have no idea what, but at least we can use them for something. <laughs> But there we go, guys. So that's going to be the end for episode one of Material Energy Cubed. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe for some more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one. As always, oh my god, look at my granddad pants. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.